it's really easy to make and the lining on this fits perfectly. So, box corner stencil that I've designed and then using a number five zip and some zipper tabs. I just don't like bulk in the seam allowance. And then these are pull tabs and then the waterproof lining and the denim and the denim has been interfaced with a G700 the lining I've split in two as I said here and same again for the denim. Now I'm attaching the tabs and I stitch about one centimeter from the end of each of each side of the zip and then I top stitch both sides as well. And now when fitting the zip I face the right side of the zip and the right side of the fabric together and then clip in place. I don't use double sided tape just because I don't like it for my domestic machine. I use a faff tipmatic So then take your lining, that's the right side of the lining and then face it to the right side of the outer fabric and again clip this in place. Now I like to use as wide of a seam as I possibly can to attach the uh, zip and sandwich it between the outer and the lining. So I use a short stitch length and stitch it in place. Find the waterproof canvas difficult to manipulate and I don't iron it. So I just clip it on both sides and finger press. And then I'm going to top stitch along the side of the zip. And then for the, that's it top stitched. And then for the other side, I am do the same again. Place the outer fabric right sides together and clip that first. Your piece of washproof canvas and again put it right sides down, right side of the fabric up and sandwich the zip between the two pieces of fabric. So both pieces have been top stitched and then on the inside the waterproof canvas is rather neat and then I um, attach the, the both pieces of the outer together and just sew with a one centimeter seam allowance. I like to top stitch as well but that isn't necessary here so just stitch it on there at one centimeter. Um, sew up the lining but leave an opening in the lining and um, this bag is going to be birthed through the lining quite a large opening for this uh, just to make it easier to turn out the bag. So about I think 15 centimetres of an opening that makes it easy to birth the bag and then I sew up um, the lining and backstitch at the beginning and end of each side.
want to do is take the center of the zip and align the center of the base of the bag with it where I joined it earlier. So just do that quite slowly. The same for the lining. Just want to center it on the zip and clip it in place. And here I'm wanting to find the centre where I can mark up for the box corners. So that's the centre point there and I mark it a quite a distance down because I like that so that I can line it up with the stencil. And again the four corners is what I'm going to mark up, um, both on the fabric and on the line, on the outer fabric and on the lining. So. Mark using the stencil, and this is a 7.5 centimeter box corner we're using here. So just mark along the 7.5 centimeter line. And again, you need to do this for all four center points for the four corners of your bag, both on the fabric, outer fabric, and on the lining. So for the lining, really it is more important to mark the four lines. Wearing the pull tabs, I like to add these just to make it easy to pull the zip closed and to open it up again. So I attach the um, pull tab just in the center of the zip and zigzag stitch the tab in place for now. You have the lining out of your way. Just fold it back a little before you put it under the foot of the machine. Take care with the domestic machine because this is quite thick. Align the lining with the outer fabric and now you have uh, both pieces clipped together front and back and then just gently tug the bottom part there that I'm doing by about one millimeter to two and then clip it in place and then I'm going to sew straight across here joining both the outer fabric and the lining and again here. So you're sewing through all layers and again, take care on a domestic machine. So I've sewn across there, across both sides of the panel. And backstitched at both ends. And then gently open up the outer panel and fold along the fold line and clip in place. I have a video on how to use the stencil, but if you watch this as well, it just shows you how to do it. So I'm just calling this the fold line and I have written instructions with my stencil as well. They're available online on my um, needle sketches store on Market Street. I'll put the link down below. And then just cl clip using the wonder clips, the front and back together. And there you have your triangle. Just ensure it's flat and that you have folded along the fold lines. So st you will be stitching along the stitch line. 
and then you need to do this for all four corners. It's a little bit tedious in the beginning, but um, but I like the finish on this. And what it gives is a really well fitting lining because the lining is attached to the outer fabric at the corners. Now you could also do this when you cut away the same method when you cut away the, the corners, whichever, whichever method you would like to use. But obviously you'd need to leave the opening then in, your, in the lining to birth the bag. So I'm just slowly going around all four corners and now they're all clipped together and I will stitch across the stitch line. And the wonder clips really do hold the seams in place. So once it's sewn up, um, you just need to remove the excess fabric and I cut it I remove the excess by just cutting along the stitch line at about four millimetres. So just four millimetres out from the stitch line and remove the excess. And obviously this removes all the bulk as well. Put through that centre seam can be quite tough. And then this is our fourth corner. So all four corners are done now. And then just birth the bag. And it is important to turn out the corner as well. So just turn the bag out again and sew up that opening. So I use wonder clips. You could tops, you could uh, do a ladder stitch along here, a hand stitch, but I find it difficult to sew waterproof canvas. So I'm just stitching with a short stitch length and um, back stitch at the beginning and end of the opening. So it's sewn up and the lining really fits neatly inside the little pouch. So that's it, it's really quick and easy to do.